Hello my friends, I'm Boris, and today it's time to draw some race cars. I've got a special episode today for you. Our friends at Talladega Super Speedway are going to be joining us in just about a minute. So we're going to give them some time to come in here, and then we're going to kick off our drawing episode with a very special drawing as well. So get your pen and paper ready, maybe your crowns, maybe your uh, colored pencils or markers or finger paints or whatever you can come up with to color today or draw. Uh, that's going to be good enough for me. All right, so get ready because it's almost time to draw some race cars. We do this every weekday at noon Eastern time right here on the Joe Gibbs Racing Channel. And I believe our friends from Talladega Super Speedway are now joining us on Facebook and Twitter. So we're, we're really excited to have you. If you're just joining, if this is the first time you've watched, my name's Boris and I work for Joe Gibbs Racing. You know, Kyle Busch, Denny Hamlin, Martin Truex Jr., Eric Jones, our Xfinity drivers. Yeah, you know Joe Gibbs Racing, right? Well, since we can't we can't race in the real world, we're racing on iRacing, but since we can't race in the real world, we figured uh, what better thing to do than to pick up some old hobbies. For me, that's drawing and art. And of course, I love racing, so I thought, why don't we just merge those two things together? And that's where we are today. So every weekday at noon, we draw race cars, and we learn how to do something new with a pencil and paper or whatever you're drawing with today. I'm using an iPad and an Apple Pencil, but that doesn't mean you have to be using that. Don't worry about that. Just do your thing. Today we're going to draw Martin Truex Jr.'s auto owner's Camry, but I have to say, we're going to tell a story with our drawing that isn't good for the car. No, the story goes like this. Martin was racing at Talladega. He was leading the race, and unfortunately, somebody caused a wreck ahead of him. Well, if he was leading, it would have had to have been... It was beside him. That's what it was. It was beside him. Took him out of the lead and wrecked him. We haven't drawn a wrecked race car yet. And I thought, listen, Talladega's the exciting track. You have the big one. Got big wrecks. Might as well pick today to draw a wrecked race car. Okay? So let's get ready to roll. I'm going to start a fresh new piece of paper here. When I say paper, of course I mean digital paper. And we're going to draw some race cars. I'm going to choose the color black and I'm just going to test my my pencil here. Oh yeah, it's looking good. Might have to focus there on the screen. Looking good. All right, here we go. Are you ready to draw? I'm ready to draw. We're going to warm up today by drawing the shape of Talladega Super Speedway. Huge track. I mean, 2.66 miles in length, really wide straightaways and turns, huge high banks, and a start finish line at an odd location. That's right. I'll show you here in a second. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to draw basically a plus sign. Okay? Basically two lines, like the number 11 laying on its side. And then I'll show you where to go from there. Two lines. We're just getting warmed up. We'll draw a race car in a second, but I wanted to draw the track shape at Talladega first. All right, let's see here. Actually, one second. I will be right back. All right, we're going to draw now the letter C connecting the edges of the track. Like that. All right. And then something special happens with this track. It goes up, 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 and it makes a dog leg like that. Now my pit road is a little off. I'm going to fix that pit road. You see, here's the deal with, with drawing. We can do all sorts of things that, uh, that uh, cause mistakes. The drawings are cool because we can fix them, right? In the world today, we're fixing all kinds of things. So uh, I'm going to put the pit road up there a little bit. And the cool thing about Talladega is that the start finish line is not right here. It's actually right here. Can you believe that? All right. There we go. So the start finish line is in a weird spot. Now, while you're finishing up your track, I'm going to read some comments 
and get rolling here. All right. Who's out there? Where are you watching from? I'm in North Carolina. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful Monday, starting off the week. And uh, I switched to got my Interstate Batteries hat on now. You like that hat? This is our, our iRacing team. Interstate sponsors them. So we're having some fun today. Send me some comments and then post your drawings in the comments. Who's out there watching? Who's out there watching? That's what I want to see. By the way, if you want to go back and, and watch some of our other episodes, we're on YouTube. We're having some fun today. Sally says her track looks like Pocono. Actually, it's not Sally. I think, is that, uh, that's her, her son, isn't it? Who, who's drawing out there on Sally's account? Debbie's watching. Mike's watching. Alicia, Sally, Jason. All right, we got a lot of people watching. Ken's in North Myrtle Beach. Pretty cool. All right, you ready? If you have your track shape drawn, I'm gonna show you now. We're gonna draw from this vantage point right here. We're going to be looking at the start finish line. So we'll be standing right about there, okay? So now it's time to draw some race cars. Are you ready? Are you ready to draw some race cars? All right, let's do it. Another new sheet of paper is needed. And let's draw a line like this. All right. Now I'm actually going to draw, I switched it up. I'm going to draw Kyle Bush's Interstate Batteries Camry today. And it got into a wreck. A new story is going to be told, okay? But you can make this car any car you want to make it. All right, so draw a line like that. It's not perfectly straight with the page. It's a little bit angled up. And then I want you to draw a line like this. Kind of like you're making an open book. Now here's what's fun about drawing a wrecked race car. You don't have to draw perfect lines. They don't have to be perfectly straight. They can go all over the place. You don't have to draw it exactly like me. You can draw the nose piece kind of flown up here. Maybe there's a, a door panel hanging off over there. Anything like that that you want to do. Maybe you can put some grass up in the grill. I'm telling you, crazy things happen at Talladega Super Speedway. Next, I want you to draw three lines. One up, one up, and a third one up. Kind of like that. I know you're saying, how is this going to be a race car? But trust me, it's going to be a race car. All right. Here we go now. Next, we need to make a box. So I want you to connect these lines like this. and make a box. We're not going to connect all of them, we're just going to draw those lines. But see how I connected the top of that one to the top of that one, and the top of that one to the top of that one? That's right. All right. Looking good. So what we're going to do is like a block of wood, and then we chisel away the corners and the edges, and it comes to us as a race car when we're finished. Trust me, it's going to work. Okay. Next, we need the roof. So if I was to divide this box into three, one, two, three, and I labeled this line A and B, see the A line and the B line? Well, that's going to tell us where our roof is basically going to begin and end. So the windshield, which is the start of the roof, starts at the A line. So draw an angled line up, just like that. See that? And then the rear of the roof, which is the rear windshield, is going to start in between the B line and the edge over there. So about in the middle, draw another line up like that. It's kind of like the roof of a house, right? The angles are like this, except they meet at a point on a house, but on a race car, they're going to get flattened off like this. So there you go. All right. Next, we need to draw that same line on the other side. So an angle up and then you just connect them like that. And that's the start of our race car. Yeah, it's looking good. I know it's looking a little block boxy, but we're going to fix it. We're going to turn this into Kyle Busch's number 18 interstate batteries car. So while you're catching up, I know I went a little fast there. I'm going to read a couple more comments, see how you're doing. Seeing how things are going. We appreciate Talladega Super Speedway joining us today. 
I'm going to see if there's any fans in Alabama out there. Any fans near the racetrack watching today? Oh, yeah. Having fun. Drawing away. Looking good. Phyllis is out there. Russell. Brandon. Lee. Glenn. Samuel's in Georgia. Close enough, right? My mom lives in Georgia. She's been to Talladega with me. Talladega is one of our favorite tracks. Cannot wait to get back to racing there soon. It's a great place to watch a race, and as soon as we're safe and, uh, and all that, able to get together and watch races, we're going to do it. So let's connect the windshield now like this. See that? we got a line at the bottom and a line at the top. Now the windshield is connected. So all this time, I've been doing these drawing shows for about a month now. Maybe this is the fifth week. I've, I've stopped counting. And uh, we always draw these nice, pristine, straight line race cars. But today, Kyle Busch's Interstate Batteries car, well, that's going to be, unfortunately, it got into a wreck. Every drawing tells a story, and that's what this story is today. Okay, I want to show you with the spoiler first what I'm talking about. There's a couple ways to draw wrecked sheet metal. If you're really particular and you like to, to, to uh, draw perfection, you can just do like a lightning bolt. You know, you can do wrinkly sheet metal like that. Or maybe you want to be more loosey-goosey. Maybe that's your personality. So what I do is I hold the pencil back here like this instead of up here, really controlled. I hold it at the top. And when you do that, it makes your arm not be able to draw very straight lines. See how that looks like a, a wrecked, bent up piece of sheet metal? All right, so let's do that. The first thing I'm going to start with is the hood. I'm going to start with the hood, and we're going to start at the edge here, and we're going to make it curled up like this. Oh, boy. Just got into a wreck. And you can make the other side something similar. Oh, golly. Trouble. I don't think I've ever drawn a wrecked race car, by the way. So you and I are both learning some things here on the fly as we go, and we're having fun. All right. I'm going to do the spoiler the same way. Spoiler's kind of sticking up here. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Trunk lid kind of got dented up. Kyle's driving it back to pit road. The day is done, unfortunately. Well, maybe the pit crew will be able to fix it. Who knows? But this is before it happens, before they fix it. I'm going to connect the, the hood there. Oh gosh. If you can't erase this line, go ahead and do it. If not, just make it part of your wreck. It's no big deal. I'm going to draw the, uh, the nose piece now. The nose piece has been squished in, flattened out. So I'm going to draw it up like this. And like I said, there is no perfect way to do this. If your nose piece looks different, well then the story of the wreck was just a little different. So don't get caught up in making it perfect. So to draw a wheel well, where you fit the wheel, if you've ever watched us draw before and you've learned with us, you draw an upside down U. So we can see two wheel wells on the side of this race car, right? One in the back, one in the front. Well, the one in the back saved was saved from destruction. It did Somehow it did not get hit in this wreck. So we're going to draw an upside down U at the back. And that is where our wheel well will go. Now the one at the front was not so lucky. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Not so lucky at all. In fact, that right front wheel is sticking out sideways, having a lot of trouble. So we're going to not draw a U. We're going to draw more of a V. And it's going to look kind of like that. It's kind of jagged and messed up. So there you go. There you go. Messed up, you. <laughs> it got crunched. The bottom of the car also got a little banged up here. So just, just draw a rough line there. And the bottom can stay black because that could be like the shadow, right? Oh boy. I'm feeling the, feeling the disappointment already in the wreck Kyle Busch had here. There we go. Now that right front tire, it's supposed to be pointed straight. We would have normally drawn an oval like this on the back. See how we draw an oval to make the rear tire and wheel? That one's still in good shape. That's what's enabling Kyle to drive it back to pit road. But the front one is kinked out like this. So we're just going to draw a rectangle like this at the front. Like that. 
I'm going to draw in another color so you can see it. I would not recommend drawing in another color, but I'm just doing it so you can see what I'm drawing. There's that front tire facing the wrong way. So, oh well. That's just the way it worked out. Okay, I'm going to fill that in a dark gray so you can see what's going on. All right. Next, we need the windows. The roof and the window are pretty much in good shape. So it's just the other parts of the car. So you see this line we drew for the roof? It's kind of like a contact lens or a hill or a mound. We'll just follow that up like that. Follow it up, up and at them. Like that. And then cut it in half. And there's our B post. So we have the template of the race car, and this is the point where you can turn it into any race car you want to. All right, I'm going to stick with Kyle Busch's car, but uh, you can turn it into any race car that you want to. All right, on the windshield, we're going to add some bars. See these bars kept Kyle Busch safe during this wreck? Bars are there. All right. Now, since I'm drawing the Camry, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw a smushed up headlight up here, kind of aggressive, like a knife blade right there. A little another one over here, and then my nose is just gonna be crinkled up. We're not gonna be able to tell really what kind of car this is. It's just crinkled up. The grill's all crinkled up. You can do whatever you want up here, pretty much. I'm telling you, this is the fun part about drawing a wrecked race car. You pretty much can mess it up however you want. How y'all doing? You catching up? Is your wrecked race car looking good? I can't wait for you to post pictures either on the Talladega page in the comments or on the Joe Gibbs Racing page, whichever one you want, because we are gonna we're gonna see what's going on out there. Crystal's watching. Shane's watching. Michael and Nikki, thank you all so much. Kale's in Chattanooga, not far at all from Talladega, I'm sure. Doris is in Alabama. Doris is my grandma's name. Doris, thank you for watching. Jeremy's from Talladega. Well, this is pretty awesome. What a crowd out there, huh? We're having fun. We're drawing a wrecked race car. Okay. We're getting close, close to having to fill this in, but I think we need to add some more story around the car. I think that this wreck just happened, okay? And Kyle just got the car turned around, so we need to draw some skid marks. We need to draw... A thick black line and, and use some skid marks to indicate that there's been some spin outs. Look at that. There's been a mess happen here and a mess happen there. Who knows how many cars were in this one, you know what I'm saying? So this, these could be Kyle's skid marks, they could be other people's skid marks. Heck, I think there's a piece of a, of a Keselowski's door panel hanging right here. Just sitting on the track. Maybe there's a line up here that indicates the grass. Maybe there's a part of the grass that we'll draw later. I think that's a good idea. Some more skid marks. Maybe some more debris and some, I'm gonna do some speckles, like some dirt and stuff has fallen off the cars. So you can see we're telling a story here, right? Talladega, it's about exciting racing and sometimes it gets a little too exciting. If you just joined us, we drew the track shape right there. Talladega. And now we're drawing the race car. And we're getting down to it, aren't we? This is looking good. All right. Zoom back in on the car. So here's how you draw a door number. Now I draw, usually draw a rectangle like this. And then I fit the door number in there. But today, because the car's been in a wreck and the door's been banged up, it can't be a perfect rectangle like that. It has to have some jagged edges and some bumps and dents and bangs like that. So instead of drawing perfect straight lines, I'm going to draw the same dented line three times side by side. Does that make sense? So I did it one, two, three. All right. So we have a one already because we divided it. Now I'm just going to add the little circles in there. I'm going to make an eight. Just like that. All right. Well, it's almost time to color. I'm going to add some more scrapes and marks and dings. Another thing you can do is add a 
a tire mark. They call it a donut on the side of the door. You ever seen that? Basically, just goes like that. I'm drawing mine over the number. Kind of a circle. It's it's tire rubber that another car went <laughs> hit Kyle's side. So I got word from the spotter that Kyle did not cause this wreck, though. I'm just telling you. Just telling you he was caught up. That's the story I'm telling. That's, that's what I'm hearing from my spotter. So you can tell whatever story you want to, to tell there, but I'm telling my story. Sticking to it. By the way, if you're watching on the Talladega page, thank you. If you're watching on Joe Gibbs Racing page, thank you. It's so fun to draw with you today. Sometimes it's good just to relax and get back into some hobbies, get our mind off some of the things going on in the world today, and, and uh, we can tackle those a little later. I'm going to get lunch first after this, and then I'll tackle the world's problems after, after drawing. What do you think? I think that sounds like a good idea. All right. So, I think we need to put a little axle in our wheel back there. See that? Yeah. Maybe if you wanted to, you can draw Kyle's helmet in there. I just draw kind of a half circle. Add the visor in there. If you want to, you can draw some steam coming out of the helmet because Kyle's so mad about somebody wrecking him. There you go. All right. I'm going to add another little jagged line in the hood just to show that that hood is having some problems. Big problems. Now, I promise, we don't only draw rec race cars here. Let me, let me show you some of the other race cars we drew here. For example, yesterday, we drew, or not yesterday, but Friday, we drew a, a non-raced wrecked car at Homestead, racing down the beach at their track. And you can check all those episodes out on YouTube. But today, oh boy, it's disaster. It's a wrecked race car. I like it though. It's, I draw clean race cars all the time. It's okay to get a little messy here every once in a while. Sebastian, thanks for sharing the stream. I've shared this one with my friends. If you think this is fun and you want your friends to draw with you, please share it. And uh, let's see, Jeremy's out there watching. Shane, Mallory, awesome. All right, I think it's time for some color. What do you think? You ready for some color? All right, well, I'm gonna color this Interstate Batteries car green. Because it is uh, lime green. So I'm going to pick some colors here and start coloring. Now remember, if you don't have colors, colored pencils or crayons or anything like that, don't worry about it. You don't have to color it in. You can keep it black and white. Or maybe you pick a car out there that's a black and white color and doesn't have any color on it. But I'm going to color today. I feel like a coloring kind of day. And you can join me too. Or you can, maybe if you don't have colors, you can draw a second wrecked race car and tell a whole story of a multi-car crash. You know what I mean? Make sure you leave this area in here kind of a dark color because that's up under the hood. Now we're just having fun coloring in. Again, if you go outside the lines, not a big deal. This is a wrecked race car. Unfortunately, during a wreck, things go outside the lines. So that's why this is a fun thing to draw on color here. All right, got to color in that tire mark. Lots of trouble here. Rough day at the races. I tell you what, Kyle had a rough day at the races yesterday on iRacing. Did you watch that? Whew, he was in three or four wrecks. But he still finished about 16th, I think, the, the final position was. So that was very impressive. Oh, yeah. Coming together here. Looking good. All right. I think I got all the green in there I need. Let me get some gray for up under the hood. Oh, yeah. Trouble up there. How about gray on the wheels and the under the wheel wells and under the car and on the nose here? Just some gray. Here's some sheet metal sticking out up here. Oh, brother. Tough race. I'll do the spoiler in gray. Do some of the windows in gray for now. I might come back over there and fill them in with something else. Look at that. I'm just kind of being sketchy and messy. This is a wrecked race car, so you can be a little sketchy and messy. This piece down here, I said that was Brad Keselowski's sheet metal. I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that Brad caused the wreck. Okay, don't 
don't hear me wrong here. I'm not, I'm not accusing anything that happened. I'm just saying that his sheet metal happens to be laying here next to Kyle's car. So you, you can interpret that however you want. All right. Now, I, of course, I'm a Joe Gibbs racing fan, so I, I have my theories about, you know, who caused this wreck. But we're not here to point any fingers. We're just here to, to draw and have fun, right? All right, so the Interstate Batteries car has some lightning bolts on it, so I'm going to make sure I draw that. My, uh, my friend Evan, who works at Joe Gibbs Racing, she actually helped Kyle Busch and Norm Miller, the head of Interstate Batteries, she helped them design this race car. So she's one of our talented graphic artists out there. And so shout out to Evan out there. But here's the, some lightning bolts. You can just put them wherever you think looks good on the, the car here. Of course, lightning struck today at Talladega because it, it was a wreck that took out this car. Right, and some lightning bolts in there. Just some more squigglies, some squiggly lines like that. All right, and I'm not going to write all the logos on the hood. I'm just going to do some more scribbles because there's so many letters and they're all bent up and they're out of shape. And uh, unfortunately, you just can't read them anymore. So I'm just going to draw some scribbles up there make it look like some letters. I'm going to outline them. If you like drawing letters, some people like letters and things like that. Like my friend Evan who designed this car, she likes fonts and letters. Maybe you want to write the letters and that's okay. It's perfectly fine. It's your drawing. But for me, I'm just doing some scribbles because I feel like it feels more like a wrecked race car that way. All right. Some marks on the tire there. How about some smoke? We're gonna have some smoke coming out too. Oh boy, long day. I don't think he's gonna be able to continue with this day. But he's all right. He's climbed out of the car on pit road after this drawing. All right, I'm gonna put some blue in the windshield here. Just some streaks, some swooshes, like this. See that? See how we got some swooshes in there? Maybe there's some oil coming up on the car. He's driving it back. Just showing that there's a window in there. I'm going to add some red lines and white lines in this sheet metal on the floor because it kind of looks like water right now. I don't really want it to look like water. I want it to look like a race car part. So we're going to add some color to it just to make it look like there's a race car part sitting down there. And then since I have my green already out, I'm going to color some grass back here. I'm just going to make some swooshes like this. See that? Swooshy lines for our grass. Oh yeah, some swooshy lines going on. I'm kind of looking down at the side of the track where there's grass and drawing some swooshes in there. How's yours looking? I bet it's looking great. I can't wait for you to either email them or post them or tweet them or do whatever you want out there. Oh, some of the Talladega employees are, are drawing along. Appreciate them. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support. Okay, I left the smoke white there. Now I'm going to fill in the track. And one of the cool things that makes Talladega look the way it is is the asphalt is kind of lighter. It's worn in. And so it's not really a, a gray or a black. I feel it's more of a tannish color. So I'm going to pick a little more of a tannish gray instead of a pure gray. And I am going to fill that in around the car. Now I know it's hard to fill things in. Sometimes it takes a long time. One thing you can do is just do some swoosh lines like this. See that? So you're not filling everything in. We're just doing some swoosh lines. Just an indicator that there is color there. It doesn't have to be all filled in. When I was a kid, I did not like filling in the whole page with color. It was it took so long. I just couldn't make it look clean and... I didn't like it. So if you're like that, just do things like this. Draw swoosh lines. Now, if you want to spend the time to fill everything in, you should. But I think it works really well just to draw some lines. Some people call these hatches, hash, hat, not hatches, hash, hashes, H-A-S-H, -S -S -H, hash marks, like that. 
And if you make them kind of jagged, it just adds more to the feeling that the race car is uh, in a wrecked situation. So you see how just those lines really make it feel like a lot of chaos has been going on. At the, at the homestead image I drew yesterday, I drew smooth, rounded lines. Because, you know, it's kind of the beach. Going to a championship, smooth lines. But today, I had to do some jagged lines. Because this has been a rough day for this car. Alright, I'm going to pick a brown so I can draw some dirt. Somebody went through the dirt up here. See all that dirt? Oh boy. Tell you what. We've all been there in, in Joe Gibbs Racing and other race teams where I think you're going to do so good and all of a sudden chaos hits and the race doesn't go so well. So, got some dirt laying around. I think I'm going to add some more car parts and pieces. Like maybe we got a yellow one out there. I don't, I don't know who drives a yellow car out there. Maybe, you know, Joey or somebody. Maybe he got in this. I, you know, I don't know. I'm not, I don't want him to be in any wrecks. I'm just saying maybe he was in that one. You know, we just got some pieces laying out here. All right. There you go. More pieces laying around. Oh, golly. Add some shadows to them to make it look like they're sitting there. And our drawing is coming together. How's yours looking? see who's out there. Dottie's race. Dottie says, can't wait to get back to racing. Same with you. Same here. Can't wait to get back to Talladega and other tracks. We love racing at Talladega and I hope once things get back to a little bit of normalcy and we can all get back to enjoying the track, I hope you will definitely come out and visit us at Talladega. I'm going to add some gray to my smoke here. That looks like a radiator to me. Usually when the radiator water line goes, that means that there's white smoke. So that's what it looks like to me. Another thing you can do is you can add a little oil mark. All sorts of crazy things, ha crazy things happen in a wreck. So there's a little oil puddle here. I'm telling you, I'm just adding insult to injury, aren't I? First you wreck and then I'm adding oil spills. Oh boy, just all sorts of stuff happening out here. But that's racing, right? Fill in the headlight a little bit. Add the car number on the nose. Yeah, that's coming together. It's not a happy drawing. Well, unless you're not a Kyle fan, but we're all Kyle fans out here, right? I know I am. I'm going to sign this one. B-O-R-I-S 2020. Hope you'll sign yours too. Maybe, who knows, in 20 years you might show this to your kids. Or, uh, or somebody else. So... Yeah, feel free to sign it. Okay, I think that's about it for our wrecked race car drawing. Whew. That was a workout. I tell you what, I think that's the first time I've drawn a wrecked race car, and uh, I think mine turned out okay. How'd yours turn out? I can never stop out here. I like to add some more detail when I, when I see things to add, so I'm going to add some more lines in here, but I hope yours turned out well. I'm going to read some comments again, and thank you all for joining me. Crystals out there. Oh yeah, a lot of people on the Talladega page. I really appreciate you watching out there in the Alabama area. Georgia, Tennessee, all sorts of areas out there. Now let me hop over to the JGR page. We do this every weekday at noon, by the way. Noon Eastern Time. So join us tomorrow for another episode of Drawing. Oh yeah, who's out there? Amanda's out there. Terry's in Texas. What's up, Terry? I know Terry. Yeah, Amanda says this is a crazy wreck. Todd says it's a crazy wreck. Todd wants to see Watkins Glen. All right, more tracks coming up, I'm sure. But that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me. There's our wrecked race car. It's, it's pretty in its own way, but it was an ugly wreck. Glad Kyle's okay. He's driving it away. Better luck next time, Kyle. Thank you all for joining me today for Let's Draw Race Cars.